Hi everybody, welcome to this overheating test between the GoPro 11 and the Insta360 X3. Which camera will overheat first? Simple test, let's just do it and see what happens and I'm really interested to see the results. So we've started the clock, we've got both cameras set on the same settings. Now before we get some comment warriors down there saying these cameras aren't the same, well this year they actually are. Both are action cameras, the Insta360 X3 just happens to be a 360 camera as well. They've got a single lens mode now on the X3 which allows it to perform as an actual action camera using either the front or rear lens depending on which one you select. So. To make it fair, I've got these cameras set on the same settings. On the Insta360 X3, single lens mode can only shoot in a maximum resolution of 4K 30 frames per second, but we haven't got 30 frames per second on the GoPro, so I've put it on 4K 25 frames per second in wide on both cameras. Stabilization is on and the screens are left on as well. So to make it fair, the settings are exactly the same on both cameras and we're gonna see what happens. While that's going, this might be a good time for me to say consider subscribing to the channel because we've got lots and lots of cool videos coming really soon. We've got these two new cameras for starters. We're going to be doing a detailed comparison review. That's the next video. Then I'm going to be comparing the GoPro 11 to the Insta360 ONE RS. That's the next one after that. And we've got other cameras on the way. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Not only cameras, other tech videos every single week. Also, if you're after either one of these cameras, both are great. I've got no affiliation with either one of these companies. I'm a big fan of Insta360, but I do still like the GoPro, still think it's got its uses. So if you do want to buy one, there will be an affiliate link for both of these cameras in the description down below. Insta360 do support this channel quite a lot. So if you do want to buy one of the cameras down there in the link, Insta360 are giving my subscribers a free invisible selfie stick with every purchase through the link below. And if you buy one of the bundles, I still think the offer is on for getting free lens guards with the camera as well okay that's 10 minutes temperature check let's do one oh nearly 40 degrees 28.4 nearly 40 degrees on the gopro gopro is getting warm oh still both quite warm that's uh, 15 minutes, both on 15 minutes. Temperature check. Has that temperature gone down? Oh, okay, no. 41 compared to 31. Yeah, 31.7, 41.2. Okay, we're still going, 15 minutes and 30 seconds. GoPro's notably warmer, like, a lot warmer. It's still warm the X3, but GoPro is hot. Okay, coming up to 25 minutes on both cameras. We're still going. 47.3 degrees on the GoPro. 34.8 on the X3, but they're still going at the moment. Okay, coming up to 45 minutes on both cameras. Um, I might just let this run until the GoPro's battery does run out and then we know for sure that the uh, it's not it's not gonna overheat. Let's just check, check, the, check the temperature. 50.4, 38.1 on the X3. I think in 4K that the GoPro's battery is gonna die before it actually overheats. Um, so, I mean, that's good in a way, but the battery and the SD card has been sucked up way faster than the Insta360 X3. We've just gone onto red on the GoPro battery. So I'm just gonna let it run and see, uh, see what happens. See if the battery dies or overheats first. Okay. Batteries died on the GoPro. 49 minutes, 20 seconds. So we know in 4K the battery will just die before it overheats. That's a good thing. The Insta360 on the other hand is still going. When it's recording, the X3 doesn't give us a battery percentage, but by looking at it, it still looks like it's got about a quarter of the battery left. Um, 
On the SD card, we've still got an hour and 23 minutes. I mean, Jesus, that GoPro is really hot. 51.9 degrees. The Insta X3, the yeah, Insta360 X3, 38.5. In 4K mode, that's pretty conclusive. The battery dies, and that is the Enduro battery in there as well. It's supposed to be bigger. It's 1,720 milliamps, and we've got 1,800 milliamps on the X3. So the battery dies before it overheats in 4K. So I'm stopping recording. We are stopping that 15 minutes and 48 seconds. So conclusion, neither of these cameras are going to overheat in 4K. The battery is not as good as the Insta360 X3 on the GoPro 11, and the file size seems to be a lot larger on the GoPro for editing footage, transferring it, and stuff like that. So that is the conclusion of this video. In 4K mode at least, they don't overheat. We'll do another test in their maximum resolution, where it's 5.7K in 360 mode on the X3 and 5.3K on the GoPro 11. So stay tuned for that one. That's it for this video though. I hope it helped and let you make some kind of decision on which camera to go for. I know my choice. That's it for another video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.